Well, with a blustery breeze and uh, overcast skies, the conditions were hardly perfect for football in this match between the Eagles and Port Adelaide. And certainly to the right of screen was the dominant end in terms of scoring. It was, and it dictated how the game was played. We saw the first half, it was very slow play, very congested. Uh, lots of just flooding back and just playing keep off and that and trying to buy time until the quarter time. Fortunately, the game opened up a bit in the second half. Certainly, and now already we're into the second half and uh, Port Adelaide able to, uh, to sneak away with um, a one-point advantage by three-quarter time, but certainly in the first half, the Eagles did well into the breeze to lead by three points, but then they had their turn with the breeze, didn't quite use it. They led by five points at half time, and then, as you said, the game seemed to open up in that third term, and it was a lot more free-flowing. The breeze did drop a bit, and both sides were able to score uh, reasonably freely at both ends of the ground, but certainly still the majority of scoring done to the right of screen. It was. Look, Port probably failed to use the breeze as effectively in that third quarter and just couldn't put enough on the scoreboard, which clearly the Eagles did in the last quarter. And they were penetrating the ball long. Port probably still going a bit too short in that third quarter, not getting it in there quick enough before they could get their numbers back. Eagles kicking with the breeze in the final term, but trailing by a point they were always, we thought, to be advantaged. And that's the way it turned out. And they, it was still fairly tight, even halfway through the quarter, even as late as the 22-minute mark of the final quarter. We thought that Port Adelaide could still maybe salvage something, but it wasn't to be. And certainly Jared Redden was important up forward. The big ruckman who went forward ended up with three goals. He did. Look, he looked very good in the air and on the ground. Uh, that was a telling point as well with the two big men, Ainger and Redden, really popping up in that last quarter. They were taking aerial balls. They were roving their own balls, uh, just basically running, uh, causing havoc down there for Port Adelaide. Yeah, two goals each from Redden and Ainger in that final term as they ended up skipping away by 35 before Graham Johncock kicked his fifth goal to reduce the margin to 29 points at the final siren. As we said, Port Adelaide still to win a quarter in the first half of a game in season 2013, trailing by three points at quarter time and five at half time. They led by a point at three quarter time, but it was the Eagles who ran over the top of them. And the statistics, well, do they tell the absolute story of the game? They don't, but they sort of can help when we describe how the game was played with that. Uh, just looking at the kicks, 212 to Port. No, yeah, they, yeah, they had a bit of the ball, but it was all keep off in their uh, defensive uh, point. And they started playing that from the 10 minute mark of the second quarter. I guess we, if we have a look at it, centre breaks relatively even, but if you can see inside 50s, uh, 54 to the Eagles, 36. It was just in there more often than it was in Port Adelaide's forward line. So Port Adelaide has now won, uh, lost, I should say, 10 of their past 11 matches against the Eagles. And the Eagles move to three wins and a loss this season.